welcome back to the channel. This video is going to feature me building a, an extension to the casting deck. Um, I've already got this completed. In fact, I've already made it out to the water and tried it out and it works awesome. Man, I'll tell you what, just having that little bit of extra space here makes all the difference. Um, and you know, I was thinking if I had to go back and start at square one, would I just go ahead and design it this way with this all as one piece? In fact, actually no, I would have built it this way and then added this extension. That way, if I am fishing with somebody else, I could take this out. So uh, we're gonna get into the, the uh, build of this video and I uh, appreciate all the support for everybody for tuning in. If you would, smash the thumbs up button and also if you're new here and or if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed, please uh, support me by subscribing to the channel. I'd, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So let's get into this video. All right, so here's what we're gonna be making. It's gonna be an extension for the casting deck that is removable. Uh, so I originally made this one and tested it out on the water before I carpeted it just to make sure it was gonna be okay. And actually it was a little bit too far, the seat was a little too far back this way. So I'm gonna make another one this time and I'm gonna make it closer. So basically these are gonna just about touch and it's only gonna come back to about right here. This one is just a little bit too big because I don't want to have to move the Troll King and then the uh, extension rod or the linkage rod between the Troll King and the, the uh, trolling motor. Going, oh, something else. Uh, I mean, you can see how sturdy this is. I mean, it's, it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. And what I did is I used, let's see if I can get this, two of these quick release clamps. Sorry for that shot. I know that wasn't very good. It's got two quick release clamps. And that's how I hold this together. All right, so once you get these two quick release clamps moved, it can just slide freely. And I'll show you what it clamps onto. So it just clamps from to uh, this section to this section right here, or actually uh, this, this part right here and this part. So uh let's get this going i gotta build a new one i'm gonna take i'm gonna actually use these same screws here so i'm gonna get this taken apart all right we're gonna cut the top of the casting deck out to 27 and a half by eight and three fourths let's get it all right there we go 27 and a half by eight and three quarters. All right, so now I'm going to make the cutout for the pedestal base. And this thing is just under seven inches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it to seven inches here. And went ahead and measured out seven inches on both sides, drew a line, and now I'm gonna find center by going from one corner to the other, holding pressure. And I'll go ahead and find the center mark by doing the same on the opposite corners. It's kind of the lazy way to find center. It might not be exact, but it's gonna be close enough. All right, so I am going to make a hole that is three inches. So I'm going to use this compass and set it to half that at one and a half, approximately. And we'll put that in the center. And we'll go ahead and make our circle. All right. Now I'm going to take a uh, probably a 3 8 inch drill bit, drill several holes, and I'm going to use a jigsaw to cut this out. All right, let's get some holes drilled in this thing. All right, there we go. Got this ready to go. Now we'll get the uh, the holes for the base plate. Use the pedestal, got it all lined up, got it centered, and used the pencil just to trace where the holes needed to be drilled. Uh, when I first did it, I actually had it oriented this way with the screw holes, 
and realized um, my other pedestal is going this way. So definitely want to pay attention to that. That way your all your screws are going the same way. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I think it would have looked a little weird. So let's get the uh, six holes drilled. All right, there we go. All right, we got the two rail, I guess rail slots or rail pieces made. And I bought these at Lowe's and they are, I guess they're one by threes, but they're actually uh, two and a half inches, which is actually perfect. Uh, I think I got these in four foot sections. So we got them cut to eight and three quarters. And then this is two and one half, I think, right? Is that what I said? Yeah, two and a half inches. So you're gonna need two of these, one for either side. All right, so here's the two support pieces. Um, this is gonna be 26 inches in length from end to end. And then it's gonna be one and three quarters inch tall. And so these will go over here. And the reason that these are that short is to account for when you put it in the actual railing, the seat rails of the boat, this is to actually account for that plastic lip. That way this can fit all the way down. That way these can fit all the way down in the rails. All right, so we got the two the sides in that slide onto the rail. Now we're gonna put the supports in. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this all the way back as far as I can. That way I have some room for my rod holders that, that I'm gonna be uh, putting back on the deck. And so I'm gonna get it lined up and then a little trick here you can to find out where your screws need to be. Let's go ahead and make a pencil mark. Now I can come back, take a screw, and go ahead and drill holes in the center. Probably put four, one here, one here, here and here, and then back them out. Now I know where my screw holes, uh, are, now I know where I need to put my screws from the other side because the holes will already be there. Um, this is the same uh, screws that I used back for the casting deck way back when. The, um, almost out but they've lasted a long time and these are one and five eighths again i'll put the uh link in the description for these so i'll go ahead and get this started all right so we got the new extension back over here to the boat i'm gonna do a test fit hopefully this works and it does sweet there we go so now, when I'm fishing just by myself, I can add this and that, just that little bit of extra room, what is it giving me? Let's see. So from really center to center, it's about seven inches of room this way. And I, I think that's gonna make a big difference. I think I'm gonna still, still be able to use the Troll King just like normal without having to adjust anything. And, um, I'll be able to attach it with these underneath to uh, this and that. So it's quick on and off. And when I'm fishing somebody else, I'll just pop it off. So let's uh, get this thing carpeted. Let's get the new rod holders. So I'm gonna use these, these that, I, that I had originally here and I'm gonna replace them with just some some uh, skinnier PVC pipes. That way it'll uh, fit underneath this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mount these back here. All right, so I got the casting deck extension, all polyurethane coated. Now ready to start putting the carpet on. Um, kind of went through and folded over, figure out how big I needed to make this and determined that I needed a 37 and 3 fourths length and then a 16 and a half um, width. So it's 16 and a half by 37 and three quarters. And then I also just kind of folded it over to get an idea of how far away this gap needed to be all the way around, did that all the way around and determined that this needed to be five and one quarter from here to here, five and one quarter from there. And so knowing that did the same on the other side and then just traced it where it needs to sit. And now I'm going to start 
gluing this and stapling it. All right, so I've got all of my cuts made. Um, I will say that going through this and planning this ahead as far as where you're gonna cut everything is gonna make a huge difference for you. So basically what I did is started in this corner and just worked my, my way all the way around. Thankfully, uh, it's the same on the other side, so you just gotta duplicate it. So this is kind of how it's gonna look. This front edge will get tucked over this way. There's a little bit of an overhang here. And then this flap gets tucked in here. This will get pulled up, up and around. And then moving on to this corner, um, here's the cuts here. Let's get this angle. And so you can see how this is gonna come up. Actually, that'll get tucked up first. That'll come around and then over. And then this will be like that. So that's kind of how it, how it goes. It's, uh, it's a really good idea to think all this through or cut out and then you can just start uh, gluing and stapling. So let me get this done and I'll get back with y'all. All right, came out and test fitted the extension after I got it carpeted, working great. Uh, you can see how it turned out, pleased with it. And now I'm gonna take a knife and cut an opening here and then also take a 11 64th drill bit and mark where my holes need to go the way it's a little bit easier for me to find those and get this thing put together and then we'll get it out on the water and test it out all right we got the seat pedestal base on the extension and it is working good and so now what i'll do is i'll use these quick clamps or quick grips and I will orient them this way underneath the boat and basically clamp under this section right here and this section right and this this board over here and I've already done it test fit it it still works with the box and everything so I'm excited about this let's uh, let's get this out on the water all right I almost forgot one last thing um, I'm gonna take uh, this long magnetic strip this 18 inch take it out of the package and I'm gonna use this one inch heat shrink tubing and i'm gonna cover this whole thing with that and then use a heat gun and shrink it around that way it just has a little bit of a like a rubber texture instead of that uh just that cheap tape or whatever they put around this and then i'm gonna get the uh, rod holders mounted back up on this extension and we will be good to go